61, a number every water utility knows well. NSF ANSI Standard 61 is all about the health effects of drinking water system components. Right now, it's the law in 46 states. And we've known for a while that the less lead we take in, the better. Since 2007, the industry has been forced to get the lead out, literally. That's when NSF International and the American National Standards Institute gave everyone an F for performance. Relax, that's Annex F, added to our old friend, Standard 61. Annex F modified a performance standard for chemical extraction, a fancy way of saying leaching. For lead, the total allowable concentration, call it the TAC, of leached material was 15 micrograms per liter. Let's skip ahead to 2010. The NSF and ANSI decide California has a good idea in its regulation AB 1953 for lead content. Just so happens that Vermont has pretty much the same idea. So to demonstrate compliance with California's regulation, along comes G, Annex G also added to Standard 61. With Annex G, they aren't looking at the leaching, but at the amount of lead in products and fittings that come into contact with the water we drink. A weighted average lead content of 0.25% or less based on wetted surface area. The effort to shed the lead gains momentum, and on January 4, 2011, President Obama signs the Reduction of Lead in Drinking Water Act that redefines a lead-free content standard for plumbing fixtures, etc. in the Safe Drinking Water Act. So in 2014, what's law in California is now law everywhere. Changes are in the pipeline. Again, literally. Now, let's jump to the future, the near future. Fast forward to July 2012. Remember NSF ANSI 61 Annex F, 15 micrograms per liter TAC for leached lead? Forget it. It's now just 5 micrograms per liter. Hope you're compliant. Well, what about Annex G? In October 2013, it takes an early retirement. The new NSF ANSI Standard 372 picks up where it left off. Again, a weighted average lead content of 0.25% or less, but adds content verification testing. So now we've got a revised Standard 61 and a new Standard 372. The first a law in most states, the second a law in every state. Cause it's federal law to comply with the new Safe Drinking Water Act when it goes into effect on January 4th, 2014. All right, back to 2011. Meter manufacturers panic. Some say, but we just got compliant, and now we won't be? And others say, how will we ever comply? And a few say things I can't repeat. But one company's not worried. Why? Let's jump all the way back to 2001. On their own, Neptune Technology Group revamps their production facilities to make meters lead-free. Better for the environment, for their employees, and good for business and it helps that they're the only water meter manufacturer in North America with their own foundry. Neptune didn't even have to adjust for the revised standards for bronze body meters. They already met them the first time around years ago. So while other meter makers try to make an end run around the requirements with unproven plastic meters, Neptune's already met the requirements in the field with tried, tested, accurate, reliable, durable, proven, lead-free bronze alloy meters. Been there for years and will be there for many more years. Long story short, NSF ANSI is changing the requirements for lead leaching and the feds are changing the lead content for water meters. Neptune already met the requirements years ago. Their decision is paid off for utilities bottom lines, financial, social, and environmental. Neptune thinks ahead. It's what they do. And it's what you'll do by choosing lead-free, field-tested meters and ARB utility management systems. Now join Neptune and shed the lead.